And what we're gonna do is uh, cut down the, some of the trees alongside the front of the road here so we can get the RV in. It's gonna have to be trimmed up quite high and probably at least 10 feet wide. Hydraulic seat. It's about six o'clock here and we're pretty much done for the day. The tractor's fighting paw and it's just not working anymore. It keeps shutting off. We're gonna look up what derated means and try to fix it, give them a call tomorrow, see if they could fix it. But this is pretty much graded out. Wow, that came off all in one sheet. How's the paint under there? Actually pretty good. Pa called the rental place this morning and what the problem was with the derated engine and what they told him, it's an emissions thing. So they have to come down and pick it up. I guess they've had this problem a few times with this tractor in particular. They're going to give us another one, but they can't do it today because the one they're gonna give us is in the shop right now. And right now they're waiting on a part for that tractor. So who knows if it's coming tomorrow? Who knows if it's even gonna be picked up tomorrow? So he's just gonna run it until it decides not to run. We have to get the RV here tomorrow. That's it. Since the tractor is only working at a half capacity, we gotta pile it up over there in the meantime. Cause there's no way to make it down that little hill that we have. So far it's coming together pretty nice though. It looks like we'll be able to finish the temporary stuff today with how the tractor's working. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get to spreading gravel until maybe tomorrow or the next day if they don't deliver that tractor in time. What are you doing? I'll just close the rock and find some good at the bottom. We can get a place for the RV instead anyway. So they don't track it into the RV. It's a nice little walking pad. All right, well, tomorrow's big moving day. Get the RV over and hook it up. And we're off. Gas kicking up, man. No pressure, Pa. Fits like a dream. So we're still getting settled in. We got the new tractor, the same as the other one. Hopefully this one works. Lay some gravel all over the place over there. And we're going to try to bury our utilities here, which is comprised of a really big electrical cord and about 10 watering hoses that run all the way up and around and across the woods and connect to Grant and Sally's house, which Thank you very much for allowing us to borrow. It's been pretty smoky the past couple days. Blew in. Not sure where from. These are the things that we have to make for the concrete. The concrete's here, so I'm trying to make these as fast as I can. Good morning. It is a crisp, whoa. It's a crisp 45 degrees on this Wednesday morning. And it's nice. It rained all day yesterday. It was about 12 hours of just straight rain. I've never seen that before. I mean, from Arizona, <laughs> you don't see much rain anyway. Today we're going to hunt around for the big poles on our structure that we're building. And we're gonna cut down some trees and make it out of those. We're going to get up 10 of them gonna cut them down, strip them all, and then uh, debark all of them and stand them up and let them dry out. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Whoa, whoops, oh! 
I dropped my monster condom that I used for my magnum dong. I'm out of here. Whip him around! <laughs> and pa got the whole trenched out for the internet, but it goes from that electrical box there all the way around now when he brings it in this condo will come and stub out and go right into the RV and we actually found the old septic tank we think that's the old septic tank from a long time ago but we're not too sure yet we have to wait for it to get dry put some water in it and we'll see where the water comes out hopefully it's a septic tank because maybe we could stub into it Whew. It was 38 degrees this morning. Check out what we did. Got the poles set. We're gonna do the other five right here today. And in each one of them, we got a bolt. Just one so that we can figure out which way we gotta push it to get it nice and level. Well, level enough. And then attach them all. Hook them up and then actually start putting it together. So that's what we're doing today. So we started doing yesterday and we're gonna keep on going. I think it's great. I just need some plywood. We're good. Come here, come here. No, no, no. Oh. Well, quick update. Turn off with the fucking <laughs> we weren't supposed to get internet and pulled and put in until like Monday. It's Wednesday and they're already doing it, so they're ahead of schedule. So we're just trying to compact and get all this stuff together, get the posts so that they could stub out and connect to the post and not have it all over the place. So that's cool. Uh, the only problem is that once they do it, we have no router and no modem or any way to even get it or use it, so we're gonna try to figure that out today, later on. We're making some really good progress on it. So the past few days we've been putting up the hangers and we're about to put up the rafters for the roof. A few things we 
got to do is put the next few things on the top and then put the roof on it and then we're going to put some more supports on the bottom side here. Today's the last day with the tractor. They're going to take it either today or tomorrow. We got the road all done all the way to the top of the hill. But today we are spreading the rest of the rock out to get it completely graded and flat so we could drive the motorhome up underneath. And then we're going to roll the rest of the trusses up top and maybe put some plywood down that I went and got. So what we're doing here is I got the little laser system going on. You put the laser somewhere for your benchmark, right? So there it is. Okay. Then you get your little reader on a level or anything straight. So say we want the rock at a certain height, right? In order to get it flat, you mark it on your level, which I got it here. So when the bottom of the level touches, it should say level. Scared of heights? Yeah. Check out what we did right here. We'll be looking up the shorts. We got all the supports in between and up top. All done today. Napping, huh? Nick snapping up there? Yeah. Man. And now all we have to do is roll the paper out for the roof and put the panels on tomorrow. Oh, and the drip edge. So this paper, we gotta roll out in strips like this and staple it in with our little hammer stapler there and put one layer down, another layer, another layer, another layer, another layer, and that way it'll waterproof it. And then we put the metal on. Here we go. This looks like a good angle. All right, so it's supposed to rain today. We got the felt all completely down and now we just got to do the drip edge, which for the drip edge, we put her on the edge as the name entails, like that. And yes, screw it in the top. That's it. We just gotta go around the sides and then we gotta put the panels up. So for you that don't know, the felt is supposed to make it waterproof. And if the panels fail, the felt will keep the water from rotting your wood out, is the idea anyway. And the drip edge is to keep the water away from the fascia, which the fascia is what sits like that, right on the edge. That one piece of 2x8, I believe it is, keeps the water away from that 2x8. So that way, your wood don't rot. And this right here is all of the roofing. That's it. Little rubber thing makes it waterproof. It holds down our panels. What? That's all you got, huh? Just one bag? No, two, three bags. Three bags? Yeah, there's supposed to be 750 <clears throat> screws. Two screws every foot. Two screws every foot. And of course, it didn't come with a bit. And we found this one at the very bottom of your bag, huh? Yeah. And the other one's not magnetized. So. This one will work. And with that storm coming in, let's take a look at the roof. We got it done just in time. It took us about maybe, I don't know, four or five hours to do it. And a lot of ladder moving. So here we go. Here's the big reveal. Oh yeah. Money shot. Look at those screws. Yep, the screws are good. That's it. 
Alright, let it rain.